What's up guys and gals, Aaron here from BikeBandit.com and today we're going to show you why you should never use a cable lock to lock up your bike and we're going to give you some great anti-theft tips too, so stay tuned. Getting your motorcycle stolen is something we hate to even think about, much less talk about, but it's a fact of life. If you ride a motorcycle, you're going to have to protect it from people who want to take it from you. Here in San Diego, we know a lot about this. We have some of the highest motorcycle theft rates in the entire country, so we have to be especially vigilant about how we lock up our bikes. But here's the thing, all locking techniques are not created equally. While a determined thief can get past just about any lock or anti-theft system, there are some that actually invite thieves to steal something because they're so easy to get past. One of these is what we have here, a cable lock. Cable locks are popular because of their ease of use and transportation compared with big heavy chains like this. And they're especially popular with commuters who have to carry their locks with them. But there's a price to pay for that convenience, and it's a heavy one. Cable locks are actually unbelievably easy to cut. Now, many people have the false notion that cable locks are difficult or even impossible to cut with bolt cutters. This is because they flex and bend with the pressure of the cutters, which makes them hard to actually cut through. But here's the thing. Any thief knows better than to attack a cable lock with bolt cutters, which are big, heavy, and don't even work for this type of lock. Instead, the right tool to get past cable locks are these, a simple pair of wire snips. Now I know what you're thinking. How the heck can a small pair of wire snips get past a cable that even bolt cutters can't bust? Well, the answer is the same way the mouse ate the elephant, one little bite at a time. With these wire snips, all a thief would have to do is nip away at the strands of a cable one bit at a time until they get through the whole thing. This process really takes only a couple of minutes. It's very discreet because the tool is small and easy to put in a pocket or backpack. But while all this might sound interesting, it doesn't do much for you unless you can actually see it for yourself. So we're going to demonstrate it to you by cutting through this cable lock with these snips on camera and timing the whole process so you can see just how fast it actually is. So let's get started. So as you can see, it only took me about 2 minutes and 40 seconds to cut right through this cable with these handheld snips. It really is that easy. And one thing I want to show you is that if you look closely, you can see that the steel cord itself is only about half the diameter of the entire cable, and the sheath makes up the rest. So what you think is a big fat steel cable is actually a little bit of an illusion. So now that you've seen that, how are you supposed to lock up your bike instead? Well remember, a good thief can get through just about any lock or anti-theft device. And even if they can't do it right then and there, they might just pick up the whole bike and put it in a minivan or pickup and drive off with it. So the best way to keep your bike from getting stolen is to make stealing it as much of a pain in the ass as possible. You can't make it impossible to steal, but you can make it so annoying and time consuming for a thief to steal that he just decides to go after an easier target instead. With that said, here are a few great tips to help you achieve that. First, always lock your steering. This should be obvious. This is a part of your bike already and it only takes a second to do. Make it a habit to lock your steering every time you get off the bike. Second, use a cover. Out of sight, out of mind is the idea here. Using a motorcycle cover, especially a very plain one, prevents you from drawing the attention of thieves to your bike. Third, use a strong, high quality disc lock. These are small and easy to transport, so they're a no-brainer. If you leave your bike unattended for long periods of time in public places, you may even want to use two, one for each wheel. Fourth, use a strong, high quality chain and a secure anchor. Many chains can be easily cut with bolt cutters, so don't cheap out on a chain. Get a thick, high quality hardened steel one. Loop it through your frame or swing arm if you can, and remember, a chain is only as good as what it's anchored to, so secure it to something impossible to cut, like a pillar or a lamppost. Fifth, use an alarm system. Many common crooks don't have the skill to find and disarm an alarm, so this is a good deterrent. Professionals can disarm them, but it adds time to the process, especially if they have to bust through locks as well. And finally, of course, get insurance, because after all that, if your bike still does get stolen, getting a brand new replacement bike is a lot better than needing a loss of thousands of dollars. So remember, no matter how thick the cable, don't use a cable lock to secure your motorcycle. You might use it to lock your helmet to a bike or secure a box in the bed of a pickup, but don't trust a bike worth thousands of dollars to a cable that can be beat with a pair of $20 wire snips. If you found this video helpful, check out our full article on how to keep your motorcycle from being stolen by clicking on the link below, where you'll find a lot more information about how to keep your bike safe. If you have any feedback or questions for us, please leave them in the comments below too. We always love to hear what you have to say. And remember to please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos just like this in your inbox every week. Thanks a lot for watching. Now let's go for a ride. Wait, what the f***?